The Rise of Kingdoms PC version is here, and because of the shortcuts that are available in the PC version, I actually think it's all but mandatory for top-tier gameplay in KvK and battling against other players. So stick around in this video for everything you need to know about the PC version and the update that just landed. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and if you're subscribed to the channel already, then by watching my previous videos, you knew that the PC version was going to go live shortly after the patch landed. And in this video, I'm going to go over everything you need to know from uh, the update itself and the PC version, which I will now make the argument is mandatory for endgame players to be battling in KVK because the shortcuts are just too amazing to not use. In fact, I wish they would create something like this for mobile versions, but let's get right into it. The first thing you need to know that actually is kind of amazing, and this has been true for a while if you're using multiple devices, is that you can play two cities from the same account at the same time if you use the PC version and uh, an iPhone or uh, an Android device. So for example, what you're seeing right now is the PC version with my main account, and as long as I'm playing on a different city, I'll show you I am on my iPad at the exact same time playing my farm account. So this is really cool that you can be playing multiple accounts at the same time. And what's important here is it's really actually one account, but multiple cities that you're playing at the same time. I guess technically, if there were multiple accounts, theoretically, could you run multiple instances of Rise of Kingdoms on your computer and have them all running? I'm not going to figure out all that because that sounds like it might be a violation of terms of service. But this is just really cool because if you want to reinforce from your farm, while also battling on your main, like that's the sort of thing that you can do. But let me show you the thing that I actually promised here that's so absolutely crucial, which is to go into the settings and go to shortcuts. This is the most important part of the PC version, in my opinion. Actually, there is a second thing, which I can't prove to you whether or not it works yet, but in the next KVK, I'll be able to show you. But let's talk about some of these shortcuts, which are absolutely amazing. And I'm going to scroll way down to the most important ones, in my opinion. And that starts with selecting different troops based off of numbers on your keyboard. Now, why is this so handy? If you always send your troops out of your city in the same order, for example, let me go send a march out of my city now. We're going to use preset number one. And then we send another march out of my city, preset number two. Oh, that was for looting. Don't look at that. Okay, we'll use preset number three. Now, when I select the one, two, three, and four, and five, even six and seven, it's toggling through my different marches. So the last march out of your city is actually number one, weirdly enough, uh, when you're going through and using these keyboard shortcuts. But if you send them out of your city in the same order every time, then it's going to be very easy to be able to retreat a single march that an enemy is targeting. So for example, if I got a bunch of marches over here, the enemy's all targeting, let's say my Guan Yu, and I always send my Guan Yu out in the same order. I can do the key binding for that, which in this case is two, and then I can run that back. This is actually a big deal for controlling your marches, but that's actually the tip of the iceberg. Even more important is if we go back to these settings, I swear these, these are so crucial, and you actually can select all troops so F1 will select all your troops wherever they are, or F2 will just select all the troops that are on your screen. So if you have ever been in a situation where you're trying to get a rune with one march, so you get the extra stats when you're fighting, but then continue fighting with your other marches, it is so frustrating to the point where I've said they really should have a function where you can like lock a march to do something and no command you issue can change that until you unlock the march. Well, this is the next best thing, in my opinion, where you could do F2, and select all the marches on the screen. Now, importantly, I'm showing you these presets because you can go and you can change them. You don't like F2? Change it to something else. Whatever works for you, change it. Make it so that it's fast and it's easy so you can select all the troops on the screen and run them where you want to run them. There's even some shenanigans you can do with, for instance, uh, the uh, there's a button to go to your city. In this case, they, the default is spacebar. So, for example, I don't actually want to run all my marches home right now because uh, I'm gathering and I'd leave empty nodes. But if I were to just select one of these marches off to the side and drag it to the center of my city, you can see I run that home. So if you did 
F1 and then dragged onto your city, it would bring all your marches home, which is pretty cool. I guess you could also double tap on the side and drag into your city. There's, there's a bunch of ways to combine these shortcuts that is kind of going to be a big deal for fighting in the open field. And one thing that's really important to keep in mind, why you might want to quickly run your troops back to your city, is that if you are on Alliance territory, well, verification still in the PC version, by the way. Anyways, if you are on your Alliance territory with your city, your troops actually march faster. So a common technique for open field fighting is to select all your troops, run them home to your city uh, to very quickly um, depart from a combat because you will move faster. Again, if your city is on territory, that's because of Alliance territory march speed buffs. By the way, one huge mistake that I made when loading up the PC version, and I have deep regrets, I actually don't know how I'm going to fix this. I guess I have to reach out to support. Uh, is that without actually checking to see if I had already linked my Gmail account, I first went and I said, sign me in with Google. Let's freaking go. Uh, but then I actually hadn't linked my Gmail account. So it created a brand new account linked to my Gmail. This is fairly problematic because then when I actually went to try to link my Gmail account to my actual account, it was like, oh no, that account already exists. Let me log you into that one instead. So thankfully, I also had Facebook linked. And those are your two options, it looks like, uh, Gmail or Facebook. So make sure that you go into your main account, not on the PC version, but first go to the uh, mobile version that you play on today. Go to your settings, go to account and link and first link over here. So now I'm just kind of wrecked. I can't actually link Gmail, I'll have to reach out to support and sort out how to go about doing that. Uh, but link in your mobile device first on Facebook or Gmail, then go to the PC version and log in. And maybe I did something wrong there, but I actually, I mean, maybe I'm a noob, but I couldn't figure it out. So get that order right. The other really major thing from this update that I really, really hope works as promised is that uh, they said in the video trailer that they released for the PC version that they just made the whole bunch of jokes about lag. Although the video they released is kind of funny with uh, a Calvin, that's a barbarian, blaming lag for their inability to fight effectively, I will point out this is actually a super, super, super real problem where like you'll target a march down here because you think it's running that way. But because of lag, it's actually all the way up over here and your marches run like the opposite direction, which on this screen doesn't look like it's such a big problem. But when you're actually running deep into an enemy murder ball because you targeted something you thought was running in a safe direction is actually running in a terrible direction. I, I mean, a lag problem is actually super real. And if the PC version solves the lag problem, I mean, look, just watch my live stream. I at one point left the battlefront because I was like, I can't, I can't play this. I, I can't play it. I actually can't. So I had to go somewhere else. So I am very hopeful that the PC version will solve that. So if I didn't convince you with the fact that these shortcuts, I think, are are just going to be the best way to play the game, then hopefully also the lag problem that I experienced is solved where marches are not ghosting in a direction that they're not actually running. I mean, it actually, the experience of, of ghosting marches reminds me of when you would, like, play an FPS and pretend to have like lagged out and hope an enemy wouldn't shoot you and then turn around and pop them from behind or something. Let's talk about the other things that are in this update, which I am kind of hyped about. Now, one of those things is iconic crystals. And if I just get a look in the blacksmith, I actually couldn't find anything about iconic crystals yet. So maybe this will be here soon-ish. Uh, I was hoping we'd see some events pop up on the calendar to get us those iconic crystals because amazingly there isn't going to be a way to buy iconic crystal according to the developers which i also thought was pretty surprising however uh, on the topic of things that i could find there are a number of things we need to look at first and foremost there are new achievements these achievements can be found in the master and commander section if you scroll all the way down and by the way i am using my mouse scroller to go and do this rather than actually sliding with my mouse here although the mouse is faster as it turns out there are a number of new achievements. These, some of them, are here for lore reasons. So, for example, defeating Cyrus the Great with Tamaris is no doubt here for lore reasons, including defeating a troop where Double C is primary with Guan Yu, I guess, is the secondary? 
Um, so yeah, lore reasons, <laughs> not actual combat effectiveness reasons are why some of these accomplishments are here. Also, there's a bunch of things that I kind of wish we got credit for things we did in the past. I mean, I get why the game might not know um, that I've already defeated a thousand level 55 barbarians. Uh, but I would hope that I'd get some credit for having already logged in a thousand days, the third anniversary. And in spending action points, like I get how the game doesn't keep track of that. Uh, but you do know how many times I've logged in. I can show you that right over here. I just want some credit for being an OG, I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? I got 1,290 consecutive login days, and it's going to get three years. It's going to take me three years to get that achievement, so I want it sooner. Can I, please, can we have it sooner? A couple other things I want to show you really quickly if we get a look in your city, and again, we make our way over to the city hall, scroll way down at the new city themes. The bunny city theme is here. Um, I mean... 254 rejoices that the whole game is praising our rabbit overlord. GG easy. That's hilarious. And also, by the way, there's a couple other cosmetics um, for the avatar frame, which you can go and check out over here. But I was a little surprised. I mean, the only thing they added was this one set of cosmetics for the upcoming spring event, which should be about in a week which also is going to bring with it the 7K gem event. One other thing I'll mention is that some folks were pointing out to me that if you're in a KVK that already exists, um, this part of the patch note may not actually be active yet, uh, making it so that the number of troops returned by the troop return scroll in the Relentless Warriors um, is not actually upgraded to this 1% or minimum 5,000. It's still minimum of 2,000, I think. So if you're in KVK Season 2 or 3, and maybe even KVK Season 1 as well, um, those troop scrolls, if you're already in a KVK, aren't yet updated. But theoretically, for new KVKs that pop after this patch, you should get the updated amount of troop return, which is kind of a big deal, especially if you're spending or gifting some of these scrolls to your friends. I'll be honest, there's really going to be an adjustment period for me figuring out the PC version and the best way to play it. So if you've got any thoughts about combinations of shortcuts or hotkeys that you're using that you think are better, uh, especially if you've got a better remapping of the shortcuts that the game provides you and the way that they've done it, like F1 and F2, I am almost certainly going to remap at some point. Definitely let me know down below in the comments. I'm eager for your thoughts. And if you want to download the PC version, um, you can just go to the Rise of Kingdoms website. You can see that on the screen, rock.lilith.com. Uh, and, you know, if you speak English, which I do, slash EN. And then there is the Windows and also Mac App Store version. Now, I haven't tried it on Mac yet, but I definitely am going to do that at some point. My impression is that on a Mac, with the new chipset that they've got in there, you actually can play mobile games on uh, a Mac anyways already. However, if you wanted to download the Mac version uh, designed for, like, a laptop or... Uh, a desktop, I guess. <laughs> I mean, there is the new Mac Studio, but I don't know. Are you play? Are you really playing Rise of Kingdoms on a Mac Studio? I'll stop. If you enjoyed the video, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. Leave those tips down below in the comments. And if you want to see me fighting in the open field in KVK, uh, where you can see some of that ghosting stuff, where I'm like super, super hyped that this PC version hopefully fixes it, card will be up in the top, so you can go check that out. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies.